all right hey aries so you guys i'm doing this release or hold on all right so what i want to tell you with this um you don't ever want to be waiting around for anybody to begin with right so you just got to keep doing you but basically if you're drawn here you're wondering if this person has intentions on coming back around if you should hold out hold on to hope faith whatever all right um now <laughs> if you guys uh have any placements with earth or water i did those reads last night and those were pretty interesting so you might want to check those um those placements out if this doesn't resonate um also if you're new welcome to my channel i hope you guys uh stick around with me so you're gonna know this is your read by what caused the split and your energy currently and then the rest of it is is uh, the intentions and advice and whatnot. So this is just a brief uh, brief energy check in. All right. So for Aries and the person that's on their mind, what caused the split on this connection? All right. Oh, look at you guys. So I here's what I feel. I feel like a for um for this connection i almost feel like somebody um was offering um a commitment all right kind of uh, knowing what the situation was but somebody was uh sitting here at an impasse um they don't know um they, they don't know what to do almost it's almost like this person didn't shit or get off the pot you know um they they might have taken too long um you might have taken too long um somebody um I feel could have taken too long all right to uh um make this uh situation or connection move forward is what I kind of feel with this two of wands I just feel like that's the the prominent energy even though we have the lover's card coming out all right I I almost feel like somebody was was um, unsure of what this connection um actually was and it could have been too that you guys were uh, moved fast all right because we have this lover's card so you guys uh might have um slept together or whatever no biggie um but i almost feel like uh, uh, even if you guys were just if it was something casual um the offer of commitment might have came in too soon and somebody didn't know what to do i don't feel like anybody was ghosted um but i do feel like somebody wasn't making up their mind or making uh um their intentions clear at that time if that makes sense so um you're gonna have to put that how you feel it resonates to you um your current energy so the current energy for aries what is the current energy for aries you've been carrying this situation for some time all right um wow you you still i feel like you've been carrying this for some time you guys um months all right weeks years um, I feel like with the Ten of Wands, this you've been holding out on this connection. That's what I'm going to say um, without a doubt. It's like you, I feel like you're the one that recognized the connection. All right. You got the Two of Cups and the Lovers card. Um, I feel like one of you could be younger, the other older. All right. Um, I don't feel this is a player energy with the Knight of Wands more so than it is. I feel one of you is older and one younger. And I almost feel like I'm talking to the younger because the fire card is coming out with the water card. Um, so I feel like this is um, having to do with age and possibly the signs that you dealt with. All right. It does not have to be, but I just feel like this is, um, we have, um, there's passion, um, there's heat right there's emotions there's love um i feel like that kind of depicts how you felt about this connection right so um let's see how this person feels about the situation the person on aries mind how are they feeling about this connection about the situation that happened how does this person feel oh look at that they moved away from something good all right. Um, I know what the Six of Swords represents. This is a card of, um, you know, going out of the rough into the smooth. But I almost feel like this person, <laughs> I feel like it's more of a regret that they um, left something that had a potential commitment. Um, 
dreams, wishes, hopes. Um, yeah, look at that. I mean, <laughs> how would you guys interpret those cards? I feel like this person has um, regret. They thought they were uh, moving away from something. Um, oh, it's like dodged a bullet almost. You know what I mean? <laughs> that I feel like this is the energy they felt at the time, but now they regret it. Why they move away from this? Um, the potential right here. All right, you guys have the Hierophant, which is a marriage card um, in relation to the lovers and the Two of Cups um, with the star. So this person, I feel like they're wondering, why did I move away from this connection? Right? Why did I move away from it? So let's see how they feel about you. For Aries, how is this person? Oh, look at that, you guys. Wow. I don't know if I should keep all these. Yeah, I'm going to keep them. <laughs> oh, wow. This this person, um, how do they feel about you? Well, obviously, there's the break. All right. You guys have taken a break from each other. There's a pause. Um, but look at the Five of Cups. This is a, this is sadness over the past. The, it, it, this is conflict. All right. Um, if this person didn't shit or get off the pot, I almost feel like they felt you you thought they were stringing you along. Um, it doesn't have to be that. All right. But um, <laughs> that's kind of the vibe I'm getting. And we have, um, they're sad that this ended. And this is painful endings. They, they're sad that this, they're sad it happened and they want to work on it with you. They want to come back around. They want to see if this is a, a connection that you guys can build on. All right. Um, they didn't say it before, but it's like, here I am. I can actually see this future and I should have told you how I felt before, but I didn't. Um, let's just see if this person has a uh, future intentions of coming towards you or any intentions at all. Yeah. So here's what I'm going to say. This person, um, I feel like with the seven of swords, uh, I, I, I don't feel, I feel like this is more of, um, this is a, it's a, the stolen heart card, um, but this also represents lies, cheating, manipulation. Now, I don't feel like this this energy. Um, I don't actually feel like this person. Um, I don't feel like they embody um, that energy. I almost feel like they um, they know that they got cheated out of an opportunity here. Um, the potential for actual happiness, actual love. All right. Um, we have the nine of cups. If this is like, here's what I'm going to say. All right. This is, um, the exact representation of, um, having, um, your dreams, um, right in front of your face, having a wish right in front of you and not realizing it. All right. And with the nine of cups, I just feel like that's that, this is the missed opportunity right here. All right. You had something, you had your wishes right in front of you and you, you kind of, um, uh, effed it off. Um, you got scared and ran away um, from like ultimate happiness. You guys could be seeing um, 999 a lot. This is a 30 day intention um, read, by the way. Um, but 999 and that um, those numbers represent endings. So a cycle is about to end. So um, I do feel like they have, I do feel like they are going to come. Let me just clarify these. Yeah, this, they're, they're going back and forth, um, but here's what I'm going to say. Um, the universe, all right, um, th this person, they're, they're, they're hurt over this, all right? They're going back and forth in their head, man. Um, but I feel on a side note, um, <laughs> this is the magician. This is um, you and this person trying to manifest the connection back together. And I feel like on a side note, the universe is saying, um, this is going to come back together because you guys, um, keep thinking about it. All right. And this also represents divine masculine energy. So for whoever it was that left, um, it could be that some divine masculine energy needed to be, um, um, taken care of. Right. So let's just see what your advice is. What is the advice for Aries? Oh yeah, um, I, I mentioned earlier, um, I feel like this has gone on for some time and we got a three of wands. So um, right here, this is saying um, your ships are going to come into you and it's going to be a victory when they arrive. 
all right so you just got to hang in there if you really want this to come back around so um i feel too um whoever i'm talking to um this that you're not going to be in a, in a proper healed position to um release it in order for um, something new to come in right after because this this right here is going to require release um if you decide that you don't want it before you you know so um if you're if you're here and you're wondering should i release this person so i can um you know get somebody else or if i should just go and get somebody else because this person like don't do that if, if that makes sense um just make sure you're healed from the connection all right but here's what i'm gonna say i feel like um either way you got you have healing to do from this connection like the way it, it left and you guys um i feel once you and this person um even um your, even mental state of mind if you just uh, feel confident that this is something that has potential to come back together know that it will come back together all right so that's all i'm saying is you could even heal yourself in that way by knowing that this is it, it is going to come back all right so you just need to, to know that and then it's like set it and forget it this is coming back um i feel like whoever's here you want it to come back i don't feel like it was a big deal the split i just feel like um, you guys m were too new, maybe moved too fast. And then, um, now it's like, what was that? So I'm going to leave it here. You guys, I hope that you comment. Um, sorry, I get along a little long winded, um, sometimes, but I love you guys. Peace out.